There is no doubt that spacesuit design has come a long way. Early U.S. spacesuits were adapted from pressure suits designed for pilots of high-altitude military and experimental aircraft. Today, modern suits are a reliable and mobile unit that astronauts depend on during spaceflight. Our own Johnny Alonzo found out more about spacesuits and how they work. Space is an incredibly brutal environment. Not only is there no atmospheric pressure or oxygen to sustain life, but human explorers must also deal with intense radiation and extreme temperatures in order to perform even the most basic tasks. Inside a spacecraft, the atmosphere can be controlled so that special clothing isn't needed. But when outside, humans need the protection of a spacesuit. In 1961, astronaut Alan Shepard wore one of the first suits designed for spaceflight aboard the Freedom 7 spacecraft. This suit was actually a modified version of a Navy high-altitude jet aircraft pressure suit. Spacesuits have come a long way since then. The current Extravehicular Mobility Unit, or EMU, is the result of many years of research and development, and is also a powerful tool for operations outside the International Space Station and the shuttle. Now, I spoke with engineer Phil West to find out how it works. Most people have this preconceived idea that a spacesuit is pretty simple heavy cloth and things, but sure. it's really a mini spacecraft that lets you step out into this very harsh environment. What are the consequences of not wearing a spacesuit? Well, it's a bad day if you don't wear your spacesuit. Yeah. First of all, there's a vacuum in space, right? So just like when you open a soda bottle, it's going to fizz, right? Sure. Your body will do the same thing. And literally what's happening is your, your body fluids, your blood, and everything are going to boil, all right? And it's not because of temperature, it's because of pressure. Remove the pressure and whoosh, that stuff wants to come out. So then you've got temperature extremes. I don't mean temperature of space. You need molecules to have temperature, but your temperature, the spacecraft temperature, could get very cold or very hot, depending on whether you're in the sun or in the shade or the things around you. Sure. Okay, and then there's little particles of natural or human-made stuff that fly around space at high speeds and could, yeah. could literally hit, your, hit you, yeah. Or micrometeoroids, natural stuff that comes in from elsewhere. What are modern spacesuits made out of? Think of the spacesuit as a balloon shaped like your body. All right, and we've got to have a layer to make that balloon. So we use this urethane coated nylon. Okay, that's like camping tent material, but it's got a coating on it to seal it up. And that's the basic layer that holds all the gas in. We put that and we make it the shape of your body. We call it the bladder. Now, what would happen to a balloon if you inflated it too much? And it'll pop. Right, pop, which is bad. So in a spacesuit world anyway. Right. So we got to constrain it. We got to make sure it's the right shape. So we use this polyester layer to give it structure and strength and make sure it's the right shape of your body, the right size, arm length, etc. So that's the first two key layers of the spacesuit. Then remember temperature extremes we talked about? Yes. Okay, we have five layers of aluminized mylar. So now think of the spacesuit as a thermos bottle. You know how a thermos bottle works? It's got a vacuum sure. between an insulator and a glass jar with a silvery coating on it. So that's for thermal protection. And then a real tough layer of what's this? Nomex with Teflon coating on it. I feel that's kind of slick, right? Yeah. And it's got Kevlar woven into it, a very strong fiber. Okay. And that's so you don't get tears and you protect all these other layers very well, right? You don't want to get a hole in here because you don't want to get a hole back here in your bladder. You don't, right. Phil, how do these spacesuits operate? Well, you've got a control pack on the front and a life support system on the back, all right? And that life support system is more than just oxygen. It's got batteries for power, a radio for communications, a um, computer, sure. and a bunch of plumbing and things okay. to keep you alive. Okay. And that's all controlled up in the front here with this control pack. And so we've got some places for the astronaut control, like their communications equipment. You can open that valve if your suit over pressurizes. There's a little huh. dial there to change your communications mode. And a little display to tell you, hey, you know, Johnny, you've only got 3% battery power left. Not a good Pack up your toys. And yeah bring it on in, and then controls in the front here for volume and your, your position, whether you're inside or outside the spacecraft, is uh, up here on the front. And what's this dial? Well, that's for temperature. Remember, we're inside a thermos bottle, okay? And you're, you're a heat engine. You're actually producing heat. You're not just sure. like hot chocolate. Okay. Hot chocolate in a the thermos bottle stays warm, but it doesn't get any hotter. You would get hotter, right? You'd overheat. Literally, your own body heat would be your downfall because your body heat is, is going to have nowhere to go. Can be trapped in there with you. Right. That's, what, that's what happens in a spacesuit. So literally, what we'll do is pump cold water all over your body through long underwear like this. Check that out. All right. And so that is plumbed. This connects inside the suit, and then this dial controls the temperature of the water that flows over your body through all these tubes. There's enough tube in there to stretch the length of a football field. Really? And you can actually see the water. See the air bubbles in there? Yeah, There's a few air yeah, bubbles. Sure, sure. It's all charged right now. So Phil, um, off the record. Yeah. How do you relieve yourself in one of these? Good, good question. <laughs> you know, well, you've got a drink bag, so you're going to want to drink some water, and eventually that's got a place to go. Well, it's pretty technical. It's a diaper. Lovely. The whole idea was, let's save money, let's use adult off-the-shelf diapers. We sew extra material into them. They work great. 
if you can get past the idea that your mom told you not to go in your pants. Hey, Phil, thanks a lot. You yeah. Know, give us all the info about our spaces. Sure. Listen, I was wondering, um, can I get like a souvenir off this? Oh, man. <laughs> I wish I could, but there's no so way. You know, it's cool. pretty nice stuff. We really can't wait. You think? Well, you know what? Actually, we don't. This is used. We don't need the diaper anymore. You can have that. <sighs>